Hello, hello, Reds. It's United Plug News again. He is a clown. Copenhagen defender blasts Alejandro Garnacho after Manchester United fixture. Two members of FC Copenhagen's squad were unimpressed by Man United winger Alejandro Garnacho after Wednesday night's Champions League clash in Denmark. FC Copenhagen defender Dennis Vavro described Manchester United winger Alejandro Garnacho as a clown after claiming he attempted to scuff the penalty spot in Wednesday night's Champions League encounter at Parkin Stadium. The home side were awarded a spot kick in first-half injury time after Harry Maguire was deemed to have handled the ball inside the penalty area. The referee awarded the penalty following a VAR intervention. Diogo Goncalves stepped up and converted the kick from 12 yards, making it 2-2, nine minutes after Copenhagen had forced their way back into the game through Mohamed El Yunusi. United had earlier raced into a two-goal lead through a brace from Rasmus Hoylund. Copenhagen were awarded a penalty in the dying seconds of their 1-0 defeat by United at Old Trafford last month, which they saw saved by Andre Onana. But ahead of Jordan Larson taking the spot kick, Garnacho scuffed the penalty spot, sparking anger and frustration from the Copenhagen camp. Remarkably, Vavro has claimed the Argentine was preparing to do the same in the Danish capital, only for Kevin Dix to step in and block him. The Slovakian defender blasted Garnacho in a post-match interview as a result. I saw that he tried to do something about the penalty kick, but Kevin Dix stood in front and blocked him, Vavro told Bold DK. It is the second time. And then on our track? To me, he is a clown. He has the mentality of a child when he tries something like this again, in an away game. One thing is at home in the 97th minute, but here in the first half. I don't understand him trying to do that. Lucas Lariger, who scored Copenhagen's third goal, revealed in a separate interview that he exchanged words with Garnacho after believing the Argentine had gone down too easily under a challenge during the match. Sometimes people in the big clubs have to bow their heads a little, said Lariger. Just know that they are human too. There is just a situation where I take the ball from him inside the field, where he throws himself, and then I tell him some things that are not so nice, but still with respect for him as a person. It just doesn't suit such a man. And then they need to know. Again and again. World Cup-style VAR is set to arrive in the Premier League next season. Club bosses voted against semi-automated offside technology and its limb-tracking cameras last summer, despite it being installed by top-flight clubs in UEFA competitions. But recent events appear to have changed their minds. Sunsport has been told that Premier League bosses have already spoken to a number of companies who could also provide chip-in-ball technology. Meanwhile, Eric Ten Hag furiously claimed Two of Copenhagen's goals should not have stood in Manchester United's damaging 4-3 defeat on Tuesday night. He said, We conceded two goals before halftime which should never count. The first is offside, a player is in front of Andre Onana. That is in four games, four penalties against us, and I say three are very debatable. I'm very disappointed about such decisions. The game is never meant to be like this. This has nothing to do with football. Meanwhile, Paul Scholes pinpoints key moment that killed Manchester United in the Champions League. Man United have lost three of their first four UEFA Champions League group matches this season. Former midfielder Paul Scholes believes last month's 3-2 defeat by Galatasaray at Old Trafford is the result that Manchester United could end up ruining as they face an uphill struggle to make it into the Champions League knockout stages. The Reds were beaten for the third time in their opening four group stage matches on Wednesday night, losing 4-3 to FC Copenhagen at Parkin Stadium. United led twice, taking both 2-0 and 3-2 leads, only to collapse inside the final 10 minutes. Substitute Rooney Bargigi scored an 87th minute winner to complete a dramatic turnaround just four minutes after the Danish side had clawed themselves level for a second time. The result leaves United bottom of Group A with just two fixtures remaining. Despite that, United can still qualify for the last 16, but will almost certainly need them to win both of their remaining matches to do so.
United face Galatasaray in Turkey later this month before welcoming Bayern Munich to Old Trafford in December. The Reds were edged out by the Turkish heavyweights at Old Trafford on match day two, despite leading twice. And for former United ace Scholes, it was that home defeat that has left his old club's hopes of progressing to the last 16 hanging by a thread. It is going to be very difficult to qualify from this group, Scholes told TNT Sports. But like I said before, you can go to these places, like Copenhagen, and get beat. That is not the biggest shock in the world. It is those home games in the Champions League group, as Owen Hargreaves mentioned before, that you have to win. Get your 9 points, scrape a draw, away from home, and 10 points gets you through. They have now got to go to Galatasaray and win, which they probably had to do anyway, so nothing much has changed. But we know Galatasaray have more quality than what Copenhagen do. He added, You can always go to these grounds and get beat. The biggest mistake they have made is getting beaten at home by Galatasaray. That's killed them. Again and again. It's confirmed that Ten Hag could be sacked on the same day Jose Mourinho was axed by Manchester United as the prospect of a Christmas dismissal becomes ever more likely. The special one was dismissed on December 18, 2018, after a dismal run of form. His final game was two days earlier against Liverpool, which ended in a 3-1 defeat. And this year, United take on the Reds on December 17th in a clash which is sure to leave Ten Hag sweating over his future. Elsewhere, Ten Hag to blame for form. Gordon Strachan believes Ten Hag must bear the brunt of blame for Man United's awful season. He told Ice 36, As a manager, you have to take the hit. You have to take the criticism. Especially if you've signed so many of the players. These are mainly his players now. The United board have bent over backwards to give him the players that he wanted and what are the clubs showing for it? Absolutely nothing. Manchester United's performances this season haven't been beyond average. Meanwhile, Bakari Sagna reckons Bruno Fernandes may not be the right captain material for Man Ut. He told Paddy Power, The one person who decides who the captain should be is the manager, and Eric Ten Hag sees Bruno Fernandes on a regular basis, and he knows him better than anyone. He's the best person to assess the ability of someone to be captain. He chose Bruno Fernandes as captain because he saw leadership qualities and he's a winner. He might have the wrong body language and gets upset sometimes, but that's because he's looking for perfection. Can we criticize a player for not being happy if another player isn't performing? Fernandez is trying to push everyone on, and no one likes bad body language. But I try to look at it from another point of view. It's important to have a captain who is vocal and talks a lot when things aren't going well. That's why they are captains.